I'm here to share an edge where I'm in about this word that was just brought up to me and is the word of hope. And right now, as I look into it, it feels that it's a, a world that is a doorway to higher and higher, increasing my consciousness about what is happening in my world. And I had clarity about what I wanted to say in this, and all of a sudden it blows up and it just leads me into this liquid state of being con constricted. And what I really wanna share is about hope and about what hope, how hope is being used in my world and in the world around me, in the world of the community that I'm living with, in the world of the people that I'm collaborating with. And this hope, Work comes in the in the work in the form of. I hope that things change in the future. I hope that in the future something is gonna be different. I I hope that we're gonna meet later. I hope that you're gonna get that thing that you really want. I hope that that I, I'm gonna become all of a sudden better or perfect. And it comes into this place of not being in the here and the now and not being in, in full acceptance of what is happening right now, of not being in full acceptance of myself. And this word and this concept of hope is bringing me into more presence because there is nothing that can be going on that is differently that everything that is happening is here and now and that what is happening here and now is what is and it can be so difficult to talk about this but in the way i see hope and the way it's being used in in my life and in uh, the community and the people around me is that it's a a giving away of my responsibility to create change. It's a, a hope for something else to be there that is not here now. And in that world of hope, it can, it can really, we can really be stopped. Like we can, like it can really hit us in the face when when we see that everything that we have is here. Everything that is uh, as it is, everything that we need is here and now. How can, how can we go? How can I go into this space of everything that is here is here and now? How can I just be here? And, and, and even what I'm saying right now is sounds like hope, hopeful, like looking for hope. How can I be in that place? So it, this world hope is so much of something that is surrounding the the programming uh, the, of the software that that we are going with that it becomes really something that is gonna take a lot a lot of layers a lot of layers out of my programming of the uh, unnecessary stuff that I I put in there and that is being put there that I that I put there that is not necessary. And in coming into debunking this world, my challenge and my experiment is to be aware for the next week or two, for the next two weeks, how is hope present in, the, in this moment right now? And it can be so subtle. It can be so, and at the same time, so ubiquitous. It can be so ever present inside of, even like waking up in the morning or making breakfast or 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 waiting waiting around when if i'm waiting around what am i waiting for what am i hoping for and this door this doorway of hope it can really be a huge huge doorway to bring 
our awareness to right here and right now. Because all of a sudden, when hope is not there, we're not waiting for anything else other than what it is right now. We're not waiting for anything else, other anything different other than what is happening right now. And that comes into accepting that this is perfect. The background is perfect. My hair is perfect. The delay is perfect. The spacing is perfect. And, and that, the, and that this is as much as part of nature as any as anything else. And even inside of what I'm saying right now, I can sense a sense of hope, a sense of hope that what I say is gonna change something in me and something in another, uh, something from the in the people that are are witnessing or listening to this video. And like anything, I don't think there is anything that's good or bad. There is nothing that's right or wrong. Like hope is not wrong, but it, hope can be this force, this really huge force that that when it's in tune, it can create a huge shift inside of my own experience and inside of uh, another experience. So in the crashing of hope, in the crashing of the fantasy world of hope, it comes an, a renewal of what that is, that transformation. And that that hope to me, it feels like it's not hope, it's something like love, it's something that is liquid, it's transformation. It feels like it's something that is constantly moving and shaping. And this can be a really huge doorway for, for myself to to go into deeper, into presence, into not doubting, into not creating stories of, I could have been doing that, or we could have been doing that, or this could have been better, or I wish, or I hope that this is gonna be, I hope that the world is gonna be living in peace. And, and these things are not gonna happen just out of like, just thinking hope. But this hope has to come down to our present moment. How can we be an active component of hope? How can we be an active component of hope to bring that, that change that, that we want to our life? How can we be a component of hope to really not be in that place of a fantasy world that, that we're just putting things for the future and putting things to the future and the future generations will take care of it or the, the people from the future are gonna like fix this problem. But like right now, what is it that is perfect about you right now? What is it that is perfect about this moment right now? And how is hope stopping us, stopping you from seeing that, stopping me from seeing that? So thank you for watching this doorway into the fantasy world of hope. And I hope you make a video about what is hope to you. Thank you.